kuna chochote kile tunahitaji and if you are to say no to her to enter hardness we must stabilize in god lazima kutulia kwa mungu hatuwezi kuruka ruka hatuwezi kuyuba yuba hatuwezi kuhamahama na tuseme ya kwamba mungu ametujima anapatia wale wanatulia ndani yake na niposa naomi anasema yeye alishikwa na kuyuba yuba maana alikuwa amewekwa mahali pazuri sana wakaenda mahali Mungu alikuwa amelaani maana walienda Moabi na Moabi Biblia inaponyesha ya kwamba ni uzao wa Ruth wametoka mahali kumebarikiwa wakaenda mahali kumelaaniwa na hivyo ndivyo ilivyo na Wakristo wetu 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 wanaangalia watu wakibarikiwa na wao wanashindwa kupotea Mungu wanayuba yuba wakiyuba yuba wanapata wengine wamebarikiwa na niposa Ruth uh, kitabu cha Ruth kimetuonyesha wa mama hawa wawili Naomi na Ruth na Naomi mwenyewe ndiye alitoka Bethlehem Juda na akaenda na mwanake na watoto wake wakaenda nchi ambayo imeraaniwa Biblia inasema walipofika huko akapoteza bwana akapoteza watoto wakati alikuwa akirudi ana watu tell you something mambo zingine ni vizuri kuyajua kabla kuliko wajibu yajue baadaye maana yeye alikuja kujua baadaye anasema hivi I went away full but I came back empty. Kwa nini hakujua alikuwa full? The devil will never allow you to see what you have. Shetani anakubali uone vile Mungu amekutendea. Anakuonyesha vile tu umepukukiwa, vile tu umeachiliwa, vile tu umechukiwa, vile tu Mungu amesahau na wewe. Na ukiona hivyo utaanza kutafuta njia za mikato na utaanza kuyuba yuba. Na wao waliposikia kuna jaa wakaenda swahili kuni siku na wale walibaki na hakukufa maana wale walitulia na ovi aliporudi alipata ni wakati wa Mungu wa mavuno ambao ndio nimekuja leo nikuhimize can you stabilize in god maana walioenda wale tutagojea watapata kujivuna we should not go a fool and then we come empty hearted praise be to god mambo matatu itakusaidia three things to help you stabilize god number one, perseverance kama kuna kitu wengi wetu wamekosa ni kuvumilia perseverance ukisoma hiyo story tumesoma ya yakobo biblia imesema ya kwamba aliishi kwa jua kwa fariji kwa giza kwa majonzi kwa uchungu akilisha kodoo za mchoba wake alivumilia mengi maana alichua kile anataka na mswahili akasema mvumilivu anakula bibu lakini wetu tumekwetu wetu tumekosa kuvumilia tukipata mateso tukipata upungufu tukipata shida tunatorokea Mungu tunakosa kuamini Mungu tena tunakosa kuvumilia where is your perseverance ayuko anasema katika ayuko 23 verse 8 to 10 kuna wakati anaangalia Mungu kulia anamkosa kushoto bere na nyuma anashindwa kwenye anafanyia kazi lakini verse 10 Job 23:10 anasema he knows the way I take and after he has tested me I'll come forth as gold can you persevere vumilia mahali umeachiliwa vumilia mahali unafanya biashara vumilia kwa hiyo doa vumilia kwa hiyo kanisa na jina lako kutoka na mkarage baba niye kwa madhara mangu na ile vita utapigana hapa ni nota hata uhamie kwa kile nguru hiyo vita lazima upigane eh haleluya na shaitani ndo ora yeroo the bible does not advise us to run away from the devil it says resist the devil if you are not rooted if you are not stable shaitani atakuangaisha lakini wale ambao tumevudua ya kwamba shetani hata akitutisha the bible says he rolls like a lion but he's not a lion so can you stabilize can you persevere whatever you go through what the kid of kiara kuma gahega atwakaya ni koto tuko na weka na moko madheri na katomberie unakataa kazi na hata vijana wetu waambiwe ni wakati wa kuvumilia si kuona kazi kumoja timani tunaenda na nyeshewa asubuhi na pia kazi kile tawedo ni udikuka wewe hatupasibia watu wataki 
May God help you to stabilize in Him. Number one, through perseverance. Number two, through patience. And number three, through purity. God bless you. Amen. Amen.